الرحيم وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أجمعين. For those of us who have been taken by surprise and think that we have missed out on the first third of Ramadan, the third of mercy, we are now in the second third of Ramadan. Subhanallah. This is the third of forgiveness, the third of the month in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grants all of whom seek out forgiveness, he grants them forgiveness. It is a time of tawbah, tawbah is forgiveness, where we truly make amends, that we decide and change ourselves and feel that deep regret for wanting to let go of things that we're not very proud of that have happened up until this point. The second third of Ramadan is our second chance, especially for those of us who procrastinate and felt like we haven't really gotten a whole lot out of Ramadan just yet. This is our chance. This is the chance to soul wash. Ramadan is that time of the year that allows you to store light and to storm warmth for the dark, cold remainder of the year. These are the days that we want to store that light and get ready for what's coming after this, the last third of Ramadan, which is, of course, the last 10 nights, which are meant to be the most hectic days of our lives, the days in which the Prophet ﷺ would fold over his mattress and strive in a way that he never did before, more than ever, because it are, these are the days that Allah frees people from the hellfire Maybe may we be written to be amongst them. I'm going to share with you a technique that I learned from my own teachers. It's three steps, and it's very easy, and it really puts things in priorities. Because if you're listening to this and going, "Don't know if I've gotten too much out of Ramadan yet," this is what you do. Three steps. Number one, you categorize all of your worries and cares into three steps. Number one. You figure out what can be dealt with after Ramadan. You figure out what's considered to be total nonsense. That's number two. And number three, what are the things that need your immediate attention? Let me make this more practical. What can be dealt with after Ramadan? Do you really need to do shopping right now? Clothes shopping, online shopping. Do you really need to research the new light fixtures in your house, assuming that your lights already work after Ramadan? You get a, a letter in the mail that says you need to renew your driver's license and you have the next six months to do so after Ramadan, right? You push the things that are not necessary to after Ramadan to free your time now for ibadah, for Quran reading, for the tarawih praying, for the worship we need to be doing. That's category number one. Deal with those things after Ramadan. Number two is the total nonsense category. This is the Netflix, the social media scrolling minus anything religious that you're benefiting from, inshallah. This is finishing up episodes, right? This is extra talking with friends and family members that is taking away time from you to reach the very things you were hoping to accomplish this Ramadan, put them in the total nonsense category, throw them away. The third category, the things that need your immediate attention, then take care of them now. Family, work, things that need immediate attention, deal with them so that you can then really free the rest of your time and mind to really be able to focus on connecting with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and bettering yourself this Ramadan. Postpone the first, things that can be dealt with after Ramadan, throw away the second, the total nonsense, and take care of the third, the things that need your immediate attention, now. Because we cannot afford to waste any more time this Ramadan. If you use this three-step technique that my teacher had come up with, I promise you, it'll help quite a bit. I know it's helped me. May Allah bless you and me and our teachers and make us, Ya Rabbi, from those who really benefit the most and maximize everything they can in the month of Ramadan. Allahumma ameen. Keep us in your duas. This is your sister, Dr. Rania Awad, signing off. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.